<sighs> hey everyone, I'm gonna do a video today about doing some permaculture excavator work on our private lot at Fruit Haven. Stick around, I think you'll enjoy it, and hopefully you'll learn something. <laughs> So this area, I did chop down some trees just this morning, and now it's about to get all pushed away to the edge of the hill. Hey, so I've been doing uh, work out here for about a week, a lot of pruning and maintaining and fertilizing those trees out here, but what I'm going to be doing these coming days, we're going to have an excavator clear this area and dig some soils like what we have over there, over here on the back side. And yeah, we're going to be planting these plants here. Just wanted to get this shot for like a before and after basically. All this is going to be pushed back and put into three mounds, or two mounds, sorry. <clears throat> Here's the plants we have. It's like cashew, star apple, grafted macadamia nut, uh, jelly palm, matoa, Jackfruit, um, meringue, verlinia, pineapples, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the big trees. So yeah, I'll keep you updated, show you some clips in the, between what's going on, and yep, should be pretty good. I see this all evolve and change in a few days now. Yeah, I cut down this monster of a tree. Got the chainsaw here. It's gonna be quite the fucking cut. Oh, let's see, I'm gonna have to do two cuts with this chainsaw. This thing's infested with a parasitic tree. That's what all these like vine looking things are. They're actually roots. So yeah, I'll see how good of a cut I can make. This is the area that's getting cleared. Put some yellow tape here to indicate how far to go. Some over there too. Right. The exav excavator is on its way. So there's gonna be some changes here. These two things on the side of the driveway are gonna get pushed and two mounds back in the far. And this is all gonna get pushed down. I chopped down some trees that were here and cut that one and cut that one. The excavator's gonna come and push them the direction we want them to go. So this is kind of another before and after shot from the doorstep of the house. The excavator is here now. Machine versus tree. Looks like the tree's winning. There, now machine's starting to win. Now he's gotten that far. We're almost done with this section, then we're gonna move on to filling the pool and then clearing the big area. Here's the progress so far, about an hour and a half in. Got a lot to go. 
All right, we got that cleared. The view's nicer. Also, the plants are gonna get a lot more sun. And it's gonna be easier to weed whack. Now we're starting on this massive area. He did already push down that one tree. We're working our way in. Good progress so far, it's about noon. All right, over and out. Now the big tree is down. That's what we're dealing with now. Just a bit more pushing it down that way and then to work on that area over there to finish the day. And then I think tomorrow we'll make the swales and we'll be done. Here's the cleaned area. We're going to be continuing it that way now. And yeah, had some issues with that big tree stump. So I'm going to be moving the swale up a little bit, like three meters or so. Should still work out fine. Just a little bit less space than I was hoping for, but oh well, we're saving on money and time by not going too extreme now, which is good too. So this is going to be where the swale, lower swale is, and then the upper one's going to be up there somewhere. Let me get a better view by standing on this. Alright. That's what we've got to work with. Now we're starting on the left side of the driveway. We have cleared all of this that way. We're gonna clear this and at the same time clear that lower area where the ackee was planted in. It's gonna get replanted. This one's for you, Mike Arast Arasta. Deforestation. Using an excavator. There's no better way to deforest. You can take it from me, people. Machetes work. Chainsaws are great. Weed whackers are good for maintaining things once you got them under control, but nothing beats an excavator. Oh, it's just a little excavator. Okay, we're almost done for the day. Stand up here, see if you can get a better view. Okay. All right, day two, it's morning. Now I'm measuring out the rows. What we're gonna have is a four meter spacing in these rows. And then the last row has got a six meter spacing by six meters is also this direction. I'm just uh, putting calcium out. We're gonna have these rows dug and this is where I'm gonna put extra calcium and biochar <clears throat> for the main fruit tree. That the X, X marks the spot. <clears throat> Alright so yeah there's one more up there in the grass right there. And so we got one, two, three, four, five rows. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's a little bit more than I planned, but it's good. And yeah, I just gotta finish it yet. Then start dragging the big bags of calcium over there. Those suckers. I'm throwing them around here. It's about 7.30, the guys are gonna show up soon and start digging, they're gonna finish finish pushing that back and finish cleaning up some of that area pushing that down and then it'll be digging 
over there, I'm going to do the same thing, just like one row of papayas and then a second row of papayas and fruit trees. Over there is going to be the macadamia and jelly palm, and over here is going to be a whole bunch of other stuff. So yeah, day number two, let's get it going. Don't stop, don't stop. Excavator's here, just starting, like 8.30. And I'm bringing around powder chow. Well, first I put like a big glob of calcium on the planting spots. And now I'm going to start at the bottom row because that's where I want the machine to start. And I'm going to throw the biochar. A blob on each of the planting holes. The biochar has been in this barrel soaking for about a year now. Bring it over there to the machine. Amounts of calcium and biochar spread out. Well, one more bucket or two about to try to go. Got him spraying the EM and liquid kelp extract onto the biochar and into the mixed soil. Super bueno. Permaculture in action at Fruit Haven, Casa Piramiradora. Here we are with the finished product. We've got the stuff in the soil here. Just doing the last line up here. Here is the last after shot. After all the excavators work, all the ex after all the excavator work has been done. fertilizer we got recently. It's got phosphorus, calcium, silica, magnesium, boron, zinc, magnesium, mag manganese, and copper. Thermophosphate. Alright, here's the finished product, project ready for roughly six months of neglect. Some garbage and bags to give back to the manure people. Let's see. So, I don't know, the plants. I got two jaboticabas, mammoth sapotes over there, peanut butter fruits, and yaku, water apple, matoa, breadfruit, relinia rose here, um, star apple right there. Trying to baby that thing, keeping it shaded by leaving that tree there. And then we have meringue in two rows. Kind of like a triangle of jackfruit and then ackee in the corner there. And I've interplanted with like Mexican sunflower right there. In this kind of area I did more Mexican sunflower. Over there I did more pinto peanut and yuca. And also did some inga in around this area too. Here we did a row of vetiver grass, 
Boris and Theo came and helped out with that this morning. That was really nice. I don't know, you can probably see the row now. So that's going to become like a little bit of a terrace here. Catching any runoff, I got the sprinkler going just to keep that area wet. I would like to get another sprinkler over here, but I don't know if I'll get that done before I go. Where's the shade? There it is. Alright. Yep, yeah, I think that's all the plants. So yeah, and then, as I've already told you before, over on the, on the other side, there's lots of papayas planted. Oh well, yeah, I also put papayas over here in like these two rows. And I spread manure and stuff like that around each plant. But yeah, over there is the macadamia and jelly palm. Yeah, if it stays this dry, that sprinkler is going to save some of those seedling meringue. But maybe not all of them. Alright. Peace out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you could uh, think about donating the uh, cryptocurrency or PayPal. Sometimes I put the links in the description, but usually I don't. So watch a few videos. Maybe you'll find something. Otherwise, yeah. peace out. Have a good day. Enjoy life. Play the game.